punches and passion, Devin Haney's unlikely rise in the lightweight division. Devin Haney, true professional, never intended to linger in the lightweight division. His plan was simple, seize a title, defend it, then ascend in weight. Yet fate had a different script. Bayan Basta Sports, Jay Mello. Mahal, mahal ko, ko, kayo, kayo, lahat, lahat. And on, uh, on my channel, Let's Basta go. Sports, Jay Mello. Basta Sports, Jay Mello. Thank you. <laughs> That's what I follow, Basta Sports, Jay Mello. Welcome to our daily dose of boxing videos. Malapit na ang Pasko. Former champions Yuriokis Gamboa, Jorge Linares, and Joseph Diaz challenged him. Overcoming them, Haney's path to undisputed champion materialized after defeating George Cambosos Jr. yet, just as he eyed the exit, Vasily Lomanko beckoned. Haney succumbed to the allure of facing a three-division tight list. The victory led him to survey the lightweight landscape before setting his sights on the fierce Regis Progre. Progre, the WBC super lightweight champ, relished close combat, finding euphoria in his opponent's pain. With one loss staining his record, Haney understood the challenge. But he thrived on difficulty. Haney envisioned proving his superiority. I will show there's levels, he affirmed. As the San Francisco showdown neared, Haney, despite his immense talent, couldn't foretell the future. Nevertheless, he vowed to demonstrate an enormous skill gap. In his mind, Progre stood no chance against a fighter on an entirely different level. Basta Sports, Jay Mello, the Philippines, he has it covered boxing from top to bottom. Basta Sports, Jay Mello. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel.